Okay. If any other? About, any other? Trying to say that the do you want to debate, sir? You, okay, let's about debate. Islamic world never contributed anything positive. Is what I'm hearing. Right. So let me. I'm wrong. So let me reply to that. Yeah. No, you are wrong. That isn't what I believe, and it isn't what I'm saying. I've been here three let, minutes. Let me, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You you weren't here earlier in the conversation. I fully understand, though, why you would say that, because the argument was I was trying to present that Christianity is better than Islam. I want to be clear. I do recognize. Let me finish. I do recognize that Islam has contributed good things. Mathematics, for instance, right. Muslims contributed a lot to the development of mathematics. Absolutely. Absolutely, and that contributes to everybody in the same way that Christians developed uh, empirical science and that is like Andalusia development was a economic uh, no education center where all of the Christians would come and study can I reply so, to that so the contribution was definitely there from the Islamic world I fully agree with you the Gulf states are relying on the petrodollar we know that there's no need to go into everyone would agree on that take that away from them and 99% of their economic power is gone that's why they're trying to come away from it right now yeah but they are actually going against their own principles when you look at what they do with their money yeah you, they squander. They don't use. This, this is a really big misconception. All these guys in the Gulf states, they're not Islamic. I would never say, look at the example of them to say that's what an Islamic country should be like. We Muslims generally say that there is very few, if any, Islamic country. Can I reply? Please. Okay. So firstly, I agree with you. There isn't a single Islamic country anywhere in the world agree. because Islam relies on a caliphate. There is no caliphate and so Islam has failed. The supreme system has collapsed and it was beaten by who? A bunch of Christians from Northern Europe and nationalists from Northern Europe who conquered the entire Islamic world, chopped up the caliphate like it was a cake and ate it for ourselves. So the great system established by Muhammad failed. Empirically, observably failed. Well, can I make no, 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 I did, sir. I did not interrupt you. So please don't interrupt me. Now you're absolutely right, Muslim, Countries, Muslim leaders have failed to look after their own people. Why? Not just because Islam has failed to inspire them to do so, but because Zakat itself doesn't redistribute enough wealth amongst Muslims for them to do so. No, I'm going to finish, sir. You, I'll debate you in a second. I'll debate you in a second. Right? But, 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 but my point is, right, and I want to be clear because this is where you entered the conversation. I'm not trying to suggest that Muslims never did anything good, okay. right? I, am, I fully accept that, that there has been good Muslims and Muslims have contributed good things to civilization and to learning, you know? But you quoted Andalusia as an example. Andalusia is not the example to quote in this debate because Andalusia was a country whose economy was built on slavery when ha having reintroduced slavery to a peninsula where slavery had been banned, it was a, it was Andalusia was a, a country that spent 700 years trying to conquer its neighbors. It was a country that Christians used to regularly flee from. It was a country where Christians were treated as second class citizens, where Jews were treated as second class citizens. Even though Jews loved to be there. No, they didn't. And found it as a safe haven. No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Okay, can I refer to your earlier point? This is a more generalized Wait, wait, wait. You, you've interrupted me. Right, well, I was still finishing. I wanted to go to an earlier Yeah, wait, wait, remember the points, all right? All right? Now, now that, like I'm remembering your point. So Andalusia is the worst example to use. Christians had to liberate Andalusia from seven centuries of Islamic occupation from an unprovoked invasion by Muslims. So that is not the example to use in this debate. I don't think you should use that example either because we know what the Crusaders did and what they were about. So let's, let's leave that one point. Crusades, okay, we we'll back come back to that. Back. So you said that uh, the, uh, the Islam was conquered and it was split up and eaten like a piece of cake yeah, by the Christian crusaders. Can I just ask a question here? If you look at religious people, we're not talking people that identify as Christian. If you look at religious people, the most dominant religion in the world is Islam. Just one example. If you took around, I've never done this and I haven't seen a study on it. Tell me if you have. If you counted every single person that goes to a mosque on a Friday and you compared it to every single Christian that goes to church on a Sunday, Muslims would far outnumber the Christians. Am I wrong? You can respond to that. Okay, so you are wrong. And the reason why you know you're wrong is because- I don't know I'm wrong. I, I'm, I'm going, to, going to give you the evidence, right? So there is a group of scholars who study religion called Pew Research, right? 
Pew Research studies religiosity around the world. Right. They're a collective of academics any, from any university can join Pew Research. So anyone who's interested in the study of religion can join Pew Research, okay? Christianity, according to their research, is still the world's biggest religion. In is, wait, let me finish. I didn't interrupt you. I'm responding because you invited me to. Christianity is still the world's biggest religion. It's still a growing religion, despite the fact that its own research shows that there's massive apostasy in the West. Massive. Massive. But it's still, it's still a growing religion. Now you've interrupted me again. Please don't do it a third time. No, but you're so, going no, off right. four no, 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 no. You asked I, I me. Right. Now I'm going to interrupt you when go, I want, and you'll complain church. when I do. No, no, but look, I, the point, I'm going to interrupt okay. you when I want, and you're question. going to complain this about is the it. Question. If you answer, you asked me the question. This you asked me the question. 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 When you look at world religions. Muslims are the most dominant religion. If you counted up all Muslims that go to all the mosques, there would be more than all the Christians that go to all the churches. Well, present your evidence, because I am presenting evidence. I'm presenting the research of a global academic community called Pew Research, whose papers are published in academic magazines, who conclude that Christianity is still the world's biggest religion, is still a growing religion, and these two are saying no. Well, now let them provide their evidence. Now let them provide their evidence. So look, look, look. What I'm going to say is, if you just counted numbers of who identifies as a Christian and who identifies as a Muslim, I think Christianity will be bigger. But if you look at who actually practices the religion, it's incomparable. Just look at evidence. the UK. Evidence. Okay. Evidence. Shall I give you an evidence? No, I, I, want, I, I, I want academic evidence. I, I don't have academic evidence. There you go. Yeah, I okay. don't have... So what you have is a personal opinion. I have an opinion which is based on... There you go. On, based on what? It's an educated opinion. An educated... What education? Okay. Give me an example from your... Uh, what be, education? Be with me. What, what is, education? What is the percentage of Christians that what go to church education? on Sunday from Christians? What education? If, if, if a Christian... What education? If Christians went to church on Sunday, all of them... What education? The whole, the whole of London will be gridlocked on a Sunday what morning. What education? I'm free on a Sunday morning. What but education? But you know when I can't get around on a what Friday afternoon? What education? I'm always stuck in traffic what on a Friday education? afternoon. What education? I can't find any parking on a Friday What afternoon. education? There's a reason for that. What education? What reason. education? Okay, so now let me reply to your point. There's a reason for that. I'm looking okay. at... I'm not comparing who so, identifies a Christian. Right. Christian so basically, are. you're making an argument from personal experience. That's Simple fine. Experience. So let me let me reply to that with some actual evidence. Actual well, evidence, your, your evidence to explain biased. your personal experience. Your evidence is biased because someone ticks a box. One. Ticks one. Box is not one. Christian. One. Right? Now, now notice you don't like being interrupted, so maybe if you don't interrupt me, now I won't interrupt Please you in your next question. tone. So you're making an argument from personal experience. No, no. That personal experience has forgotten to actually look at the stats. The reason why you're not clogged up every Sunday is because there are more churches than mosques and Christians go to lots more different churches than they do to mosques. If you had the same number of mosques as you had of churches in terms of buildings, you would find similar experiences around the churches. The second reason why you're making your personal experience argument is because Muslims tend to congregate into the same areas. They tend to move million. into the same areas. And so on a Friday when you go to mosque, because there are fewer mosques and there are more Muslims per capita in a set geography, it kind of has an impact on the local infrastructure. If Christians the did the same, and had the same number of churches and all moved into the same number of areas, I guarantee, what ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, you would have the same experience on a Sunday. And he's still wrong. He's still wrong because there are examples. There are examples. There are examples. I know from my personal experience, there are examples where Christians do have that impact when they go on to church. They take up all the parking spaces, they block up all the roads. So the reality is, personal experience is a form of evidence, but it isn't conclusive evidence. Now, he talked about statistics, let's quote some. The National Office of Statistics. Which tells loads of rubbish statistics all, all tells year us, <laughs> Tells us that a le less than over 40%, it but less than 50%, over 40%, but less than 50%, the same 
of people identify as Christians. Christian's own stats show us that 10% of the population go to church on a Sunday. 10%. Muslims equal 4%. I guarantee not 4% of Muslims are going to mosque. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, if we look at the percentage of Muslims that give zakat, it's less than 100%. Less than 100%. Christians who give to charity equal a higher percentage per capita of the Christian population than Muslims who give to zakat of the Muslim population. That's because zakat is lower. And if, are you no, at why, UK, why is that? Why is that? Are you why is that UK low? Why, why? Yeah, I'm talking about the, the, practice, of zakat, the practice of zakat. The practice of zakat. The practice of zakat. Absolutely, wall up your statistics. Are, are, are you able to demonstrate with any evidence at all I about would, what is the percentage of Muslims okay. that go to mosque? Every, What's your paper? Okay. What's your stat? Okay. What paper do you think what, what, what is your stat? the Christians? What is your You're stat? You're talking about box ticking. Right, you asked me about which okay. paper. Churches go, count the number if, of if people went, that go to church here, every Sunday. If you went round here... The Church you, of England up, keeps its own if stats. You, if you went round churches here and count you how many people person, go to church. If you ask everyone here... Yeah, now you don't like being been interrupted. Been I can tell it irritates no, no, you. I'm not, I'm not being irritated. I'm just trying to speak over you because you keep talking. Oh, but that's what you were doing when I were talking and suddenly you complain about it. I'll give you a fair test. Right, no, so... So what is you your stat them, have you ever been about the percentage of, of Muslims that go to mosque? Can you answer that question? I would say Can you answer that question? Can you based on what? You're just making up a number. Based on all the work. You're just making up a number. You're just making up a number. Family, work. That is not personal. evidence. That is okay. uh, that is a, just an okay. ad hoc statement. Okay. You haven't got but, any evidence to back that up. But, but, but churches, what are your churches, stats? Churches count this. What are your stats? Mos mosques what are your stats? Mosques what are your count. stats? Mosques what are your stats? But mosques don't count. What are your stats? Mosques don't count. Okay. If mosques don't count it, then what, what are we what are we debating? Oh, yeah. So research. what's this? Pure research. Okay, the let percentage the percentage of the overall Muslim population. Okay? Right then. What is it? So it's looking at the Muslim countries around the world. Right. It doesn't have a stat for the UK, that's what we're talking about. Uh, well, I just like the worldwide stat. What do you mean? Right. Is, is that against your really countries yeah, we're, we're talking about the UK. I was on a bike ride. I just wanted to have a conversation. I have no preparation. No, 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 no. You, you came in interrupting. No, because I didn't like some of the stuff you said. Right, but, but the point is, you can't, can't, you can't now try to present yourself as oh, I just wanted to have I a conversation. I was on a bike ride. When you interrupt him, if you want to have a conversation. Do you want evidence of my bike ride? No, I can see the bike. Oh, yeah, I can right. see the bike and I can see the helmet. No one's denying that you're having a bike ride. I have to have evidence for everything. But my point is, bro, if you're going to make an argument, right? You gotta back it up with some evidence, okay? But I, yeah, but I don't you have all, it. all I don't exactly. Two hands. Exactly. You don't have any evidence. But the truth is, mosques, I bet you mosques go don't away count. and find some evidence. Mosques don't count numbers. You know that. I've never been in a mosque. I've been in hundreds that ever counted how many people came in. I yeah. don't know why that is. Maybe it's because they're secure about how many people come. Maybe. Maybe the churches need to justify why they're around and they need to count numbers to show membership. Maybe. I mean, that's your spin. That's a personal opinion. Yeah, that's a spin. That is personal opinion. Everything you've said is just pure opinion. Personal opinion and pure some, opinion. E some educated opinion. Educated on what? If you went For it, here, Do you actually know what an educated opinion is? Yeah, you need to have some understanding right? of what you're Out saying. of the two of us, one second. one second, one second. Out of the two of us, who has a qualification in religious studies? Yeah. What is religious yeah, studies? Yeah, but what is religious Muslim studies? Countries doing what is religious studies? Malaysia, what is religious it. studies? What is religious studies? Religious yeah. studies is studying how people relate to their gods. It's studying I, I, how people behave in a religion. But, but the reality know, is, is the only one qualified to talk is on this topic, Bob? the only one out of the two of us but that Bob, has Bob. any educated opinion on this topic is me. But, but, look, you don't look, have an educated usually, opinion. Usually when people you throw just their have sound bites. They're trying you to just justify have something. sound bites. Stop it, please. All you've got is sound bites. Just sound you bites. Know, I know That's all well, you've got. I know you're well versed That's in all. Christianity. I'm sure I've seen you on videos. I know you have an understanding. Of, you're here quite a lot. You've done it for years. I've never spoken in public about religion. Genuinely, yeah. never. Yeah. But I'm just making a point because some of the things you were but saying. But your point is invalid. And, and I actually, what you did is you told but me your that. your point is invalid. You told me that I, I got the wrong end of the stick. But when your I point is invalid. I thought you were saying the Muslims haven't contributed anything. No, I would and never you, say and that. You, and you said, no, no, I yeah, that's, mean that. that, that, so that, that was the main reason why I wanted to yeah. speak to you. And the second thing I took, um, how shall I put it, I, I took an opposition to, yeah. is when you said that the, the Muslims have been cut up by the Christianities, eaten like a piece of pie, whatever, and almost trying to say that Muhammad, Muhammad, all of his teachings failed. That's not true. Wait, Islam did Muhammad is establish one. a caliphate? 
Okay, look, look. No, we don't, we don't have a caliphate. No, no we did Muhammad establish a caliphate? Okay. We don't have a caliphate. Why are you avoiding the question? Because, because did Muhammad know, establish a caliphate? I know what the Prophet wanted. We did, Muhammad, did Muhammad establish a caliphate? Of course he did. Right, and did his companions succeed in that caliphate? Absolutely. And was there a caliphate for hundreds of years? Hundreds of years. Was there a caliphate for thousands of years? That's enough. Absolutely not. So at what point do you say the caliphate failed? Uh, as soon as the caliphate was abolished. Yeah, which, which when, when was that? I don't know the year, but okay. I would estimate 500 years. Do you con do you, right, right, wait, 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 right. Okay, so we're having an historical conversation now. Yeah. So let, let's just do basic history. We start with a premise that Muhammad establishes a caliphate. We start with a premise that his companions continue that caliphate. And we start with a premise at some point in history that caliphate abo was abolished. Yeah. Right. Quick question, just to make sure I, I don't, don't know the year. Okay. Do you consider the Ottomans to be an Islamic caliphate? I can't be a hundred percent sure. Because That's some fine. say yes, some say no. Okay, the fine. fine. But, but they did so, call it a caliphate. So whenever it was, whenever it was, okay, so we're gonna just speak generically. Whenever it was, the caliphate died. Yep. And that means that the Islamic system established by Muhammad died. It the, failed. The caliphate died. But the church that was founded by Jesus Christ Come was founded 2,000 well, years be ago. Be realistic here. And it is still exists today, no, no, unbroken. You, you don't have that control. Come unbroken. You don't, you've it never is still had that there. Control. You don't know history, bro. No, no. Okay, now. I'm What's the now, Byzantine I'm Empire? I'm now. What's the Byzantine no, Empire? No, no, I'm not saying historically. I'm saying now. What's the Holy Roman because Empire? Because you're trying to say that Muslims don't have that control. I know we don't. There's no Islamic country in the world. I agree. Why, why do you what, measure it in but, control? Christianity Christianity. Why do you measure it in control? No, it's one second. So no, you don't understand your own argument. No, no, but what you I'm don't saying in, is... You don't understand your own argument. Sorry? That's like saying when the Reformation happened, Christianity fell apart, and it didn't. No, it I never claimed that. System. I never claimed that. I've never claimed that. You claim that. I've not made that claim you're attacking a straw man. No, but what, you're, what the point is making that you're making, with, maybe you're doing it without realising, is a caliphate had complete control over the people. I never really? said that. You had to pay no, zakat or I never said that. You know that. That was sure not I'm, my I'm argument. Not you say it. No, let but me restate my, what my argument is again. Firstly, has never, maybe had that at one stage what is in my one argument? empire. What is my argument? Right now, no. you have less influence no. in a Christian country. That's got country, nothing to do with my argument. In a argument. Christian country, the, the rulers have less influence as per religion than the Muslim alleged. And I'm not that saying has I nothing religion, to do with my argument. But so-called Muslim countries have more power over but their people But that has nothing to do with my argument. That, right, so my argument actually was, that Muhammad establishes a caliphate and, abolished, and, and Jesus a establishes a church. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, yes, that. yes, you can. You cannot. Yes, you can. Has to yes, you can. Into because it. the caliphate died. The caliphates died and Sharia law died with it. No, it no. never succeeded at any point in history. You never succeeded. Your only measure, so even your in, only measure, even in Mecca, your only measure is the idea that it dominates. Where Christianity has a better measurement by which, which you can what, judge dilution. it. The production of saints, the production of holy yeah, people, how many of the holy people disagree? who build their lives on doing good and build Every their lives woman. on oh, virtue. Christian. She's Christian Who build... and she disagrees with you. She says she's Christian. I don't know if she's Christian. Wow. There's lots of people that say that they're Christian. Bro, so we've, got, we've got Muslims. We've got Muslims. <laughs> so what? She's part so of, what? She's part of that so big what? number that you speak so about. So what, bro? There are lots of Muslims that tick the box and then go to the nightclubs yeah, and then go are. to the casinos. 100%. So what does it 100%. mean to tick a box? It no, doesn't but matter. She's Christian but you're not disagrees. engaging in an argument now. All you're doing is pandering no, to the crowd. You're All you're, you're, you're doing is interrupting. Yes, that's I am. Not, and do you know why? Because the church is a fair it's comparison. Fair. It is a fair a comparison. It is. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. What is a church? Do you know a what building, a church is? A no! There you go, you don't even know no, the basics. I know, I know you say, don't even know the basics. Well, you are ignorant then because no Christian would you're say that the church is the building. A no, a and here's you why. Compare. You're saying that it's an invalid comparison. The caliphate was established by Muhammad. The church was founded by Jesus Christ. If I went to the caliphate Christian died. Pastor, the church is still here. Is the caliphate's purpose was to, to dominate Muslim. and to dom and to dominate its neighbors and to establish Sharia law. It failed in that purpose. The purpose of the church well, is to produce to saints <laughs> unto God, and the church is still producing saints 
unto God 2,000 years Bob, Bob, Bob. after Christ don't, don't founded it, and so the comparison is valid. The saints are what is the measure of Christian success? What is the measure of Christian success? Who gets to define the terms of success? Who gets to define the terms of success? Who gets to define the terms of success? Saints are seen as a failure in Islam. If he has holy people in Islam, it's a failure. He actually thinks, he actually thinks, Wait, wait, wait. He actually you thinks, are you a Muslim? There you go, he's a Muslim yeah, and he's contradicting you. He's contradicting okay. you. You do with the Christian, yeah. I do with the Muslim. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, it's suddenly, suddenly your logic has totally reversed. <laughs> now that Muslim's contradicting you, suddenly he's not really a Muslim. But when this lady identified a Christian, we had to assume that therefore she was making a valid point. Sure, but right. One second. Right. He's, You've he's just right. said. He's right. right. Let's let's no, come no, with. Right. Saints. He was saying. What's the your name, bro? What is, is that, brother? How well the saints have done. Brother, okay. what's your name? It's Oz. Oz. Let's what's have your a, name? Is it Bob? Bob. Okay. You know that very well. I thought. It and was it doesn't Bob. matter how many times you ask me, I'm still gonna say no, Bob. No, but you didn't agree to right? that. I said, are you right. Bob? And you went. You yeah. carried on. Right. So let's go back to having a conversation, please. Okay, please. Right. And if you want, we can time it where you speak for three minutes. Then, then please, let's have a conversation. You got with Hijab and Ali Dawa. I'm not that. All right, so let's have a conversation, okay? I'm going to make a point, okay. and let's stick to one point each. So I make a point, you respond to my point, then you All make right, a point, and I topic. respond to your point, then I make a point, and you respond to my point, and you make like that, okay? Let's do it like that. So we're each making two points. Okay, go on. Okay? Right. So the first thing is we've got to decide what are the terms of success. Okay, now, question. in religious studies, it would be it would be wrong to take categories that are normative to Christianity Absolutely. and impose them on Islam. Islam should define its own categories of success. In the same way, Christianity should define its own categories of success. I am making the argument to you. So that was my first point. Right? I am making the argument to you that by the categories of success in Islam and the categories of success in Christianity, right. the Islam that was established by Muhammad has failed, but the church established by Jesus Christ continues to succeed okay. because the categories of success in Christianity is the production of saints and the category of Islam yeah. is the idea that Islam should establish that Islam is the establishment of Sharia law which includes the idea of the caliphate and that's, that's my argument please respond okay Bob you're being a bit unfair here you're trying to compare if a caliphate survived compared to if a church is still around and let's look at that point how is the church of whatever church you believe that Jesus formed compared to what that was then to what we have now if Jesus was here, he wouldn't recognize the Christians. He would not recognize them because they've come so far away from his teachings, number one. Number two, the Caliphate is one system that Islam prevail over all. Of course they do. But the followers, let's compare followers to followers. That's how this began. Let's look at how many people actually follow Islam and let's look at how many people actually follow Christianity. And even that in itself, I've made the point, Sorry. but I'm going to contradict myself and say, how do you follow Christianity when you've got six million different ways to follow it? Whereas Islam, yes, there's different ways, definitely, but they would all believe in the last prophet or pretty much the last prophet, uh, minus some people that we don't consider Muslims, but the last prophet and Allah being one. So if you compare who believes Allah is one and the Prophet is the last prophet, you compare that to who believes Jesus' actual teachings. It's incomparable. You've diluted, changed, twisted, and made six million different ways to follow Christianity. And then you're gonna compare those followers to Islamic followers. Can I reply? It's incomparable. Go Can I, right. Firstly, yeah. you've made a statement that Christ would look at this church and he wouldn't recognize it. You've got to evidence that. You have also dealt in just generalizations, broad sweeping statements, where you've said Christians have diluted their faith. You've, you've, and, and what that relies on is this idea that you have some kind of overview of the entire Christian population by which you can make that statement. Generalizations don't work in arguments. There's plenty of examples of faithful Christians, faithful congregations, faithful denominations. You've also made a Muslim stereotype of Christian, another Muslim stereotype of Christians, which is that Christians are divided into six million different branches that all do it differently. As a religious studies student with an academic qualification who majored in Christianity and Islam, I am telling you as a fact 
that all Christians agree upon the core tenets of the Christian faith. Why? Because Christianity is a creedal faith, which means you cannot be a Christian unless you agree to the creed. So in other words, if you don't agree to the creed, you can't be a Christian. So by definition, because of its creedal nature, all Christians agree on the essential agree the core Trinity. doctrines. If you, and one example to that, please don't interrupt, I didn't interrupt you. All, one example to that is that it is creedal to believe in the Trinity. So in other words, if you don't believe in the Trinity, you aren't a Christian. Next, next, you said that, that Muslims all agree. Now, the, the reality, the, 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 one second, one second, let me finish, let me finish. You, the, the argument that I made was that Sharia law is something that establishes a caliphate. And the caliphate, the purpose of the caliphate is to establish Sharia law. So if the caliphates collapse, Sharia law failed. And if Sharia law failed, the caliphates fail. And the caliphates fail where Sharia law fails. Islam requires a caliphate to be Islam. If Muhammad came back today, he would look at the Muslims and say that you have failed because he established something and Muslims have lost the thing that he established. But Jesus Christ established a church and said to that church, be holy as your father in heaven is holy. So the purpose of the church is to produce saints. That is the measure that Christians look at the church to see if it is successful. It's not about dominance. It's not about oppressing others. It's not about establishing a certain legal code. It's about creating saints. And for 2000 years, without interruption, that is exactly what the church has done unfailingly in all conditions, in all circumstances, in all cultures, in all societies, in all civilizations, in all languages, in all places on earth. But the Sharia law, which was brought by Muhammad to establish a caliphate, whose role it was to uphold Sharia law, is dead. And so Islam, by Muslim standards, has objectively failed. Okay, so can, I, can I speak now? Yeah. You're still, we're still going in circles about this point. You keep trying to equate success to being to having a khalifa. It doesn't, that, that's not Islam. Islam is how many people will get to Jannah, how many people will get to paradise, yeah. how many people are going to follow the actual teachings. That's our success. Because there will be many people that never lived under a caliphate and died before there was one ever established. What's that? Then they can't go to paradise. They can't be successful. That was a straw man argument. I, no, said that. I, don't, I know you never said it, but what I'm saying is, then it defies your point of using Khalifa as a success. Because there are millions, if not billions of people that haven't lived under one, that will be successful according to their own, as in their own beliefs and getting to paradise. Yeah. Okay, so that's one. The other thing is, if your measure of success is saints, firstly, what are those saints promoting? I, again, you're going to call me generalized and sweeping, but I speak to Christians just as friends and they will have different opinions on everything. So their saints are obviously promoting different things as well. So how do you see that as a measure of success when they're all promoting different bits? And then you'll make a wider point about Jesus wouldn't have looked down upon the way Christianity is now. But you know what I'm going to say to that? Jesus was never a Christian. He was never the son of God. He was never part of the Trinity. He was a prophet. You know I'm going to say that. So he would come here and look at all Christians like, what are you doing? Then you said about the Prophet ﷺ, which is correct. He would probably have a similar thing to say, hold on Muslims, I told you to do A and B and you're not doing it. Not specifically about the Khalifate, but more about everything we're supposed to do. Look, I do have to run. I know you're going to hate me for this, but the last point I wanted to make was on a way of life. Islam is a way of life. Christianity is never that. Christianity is just some guidelines. It's just be good to your neighbor. It's turn the cheek and other teachings. I'm not mocking it in one bit at all. I wouldn't do that. But you are a guideline. Islam is a detailed way of life. Can I reply? Uh, Very quickly, you will. before you go. Yeah, but look, the point I'm making is Christianity isn't a way of life. Even though you're going to say they are devout Christians, blah, blah, and they are. But look at the code of conduct of different Christians. Look at the Roman Catholics who won't marry. Look at the such and such, happy to be, happy to be gay and be a priest, whatever, whatever. The differences are vast and they're religious people. We're not talking about their followers. Can so I way of life, Islam, okay. Christianity is not. Okay, so, 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 so let me reply because all you've done is repeat general, yeah, yeah, generalized sweeping that. statements <laughs> based, on, be, 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 base, based on <laughs> Islamic stereotypes of Christians that are popular amongst Muslims but have Even actually no bearing, have no bearing, have no bearing 
have no bearing on actual facts. Okay. The reality is Christianity isn't just a way of life, it's a way of being human. It is a way of ontology. One of the, the, one of the ways that Christianity that. expresses itself yeah. is ontologically. So it's a way of being. So if it's a way of being, it is a way of life. It's not my fault that you're ignorant of Christianity and just want to use Islamic tropes. Secondly, Muslims themselves disagree about every aspect of fiqh. They're like, doesn't matter what the question is, Muslims well, can't fair, agree fair, about what to do in this situation or that situation. Right. Should we chuck <laughs> off a building? Should we <laughs> them alive? No, no, How fair, should we apostate? Should we straight away or should we after three attempts to reconvert them to Islam? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What, what, what fair, should we fair. do when it comes to divorce? Is it, just, is it just saying I divorced, about... I divorced the, I divorced the, I divorced the, like that and they're divorced? Or must there be a pause in between those yeah. statements of divorce? And this is true. Muslims can't agree on abortion. Abortion is a no, matter no, of life and death. No, no, there no, are no, some Muslims, there, there the are some Muslims, there are some Muslims that say abortion after 90 days is evil, Absolutely. some 40, some 20. You're, you're 100 but that right, means that those that are saying abortion after 20 is yeah. wrong are saying that those that do it at 90 are committing murder. Bob, Bob, and this Bob, is a, a matter of hack, you're, this is a matter you're going of what? is right and wrong. Now notice he's interrupting despite the fact that I listened to him. So his argument is based on a straw man. It's based on, it's based on, I'm going to look at all these bad Christians. I'm going to look at all these bad Christians. I'm going to compare the bad Christians to good Muslims. And I'm going to say that that represents Christianity. Let's look at, let's look at, let's look. And he didn't provide any proof of his claim. He didn't provide any proof of his claim. So let's look at religious Muslims like ISIS oh, and Boko Haram. Oh, now notice, they're notice, they're notice, they're notice suddenly his brain oh, switches oh, on. Oh, suddenly, oh, now he understands what he feels like to be on the receiving end of his own argument. So when he compares bad Christians to good Muslims, he thinks that's a good argument. But if I compare bad Muslims to good Christians, suddenly he recognizes that that's not the way to marshal an argument. Well, You're going now, aren't you? Well, yeah, you go. All right. Well, yeah, look after yourself. Yeah. It's really nice talking yeah. with you. Yeah. Come and talk to me again. Have you got a true. Bible, bro? Oh, I have one online. Yeah. True. You don't have one then. Not physical. Let me give you one. I don't keep physical books, and I can't carry it right now. Look. Yeah, hey, you're right. I will see you again. Thanks I've got something to fit in your pocket. No, please. Go on, bro. I, I, I want to give you a gift. Because, because I don't think I'll honour it enough by reading it and stuff. That, that, is, that is your loss. That is your loss. I will. I'll give you a little section. I'll give you a little section then. I'll take that. Alright. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. What? Well, of course he condemns ISIS. I don't even think they're Muslim. What the hell? You don't know what your son is. There you go. There's a section. You can get that in your pocket. All right. Thank you so much. Enjoy your bike ride. Lovely talking to you. God bless. Take care.